Hello my buddies, it's me Pink Ink, and in today's video it's gonna be just a pretty chill draw with me video. I bought some new art supplies as well, so I'm gonna check those out in the video, because I have not gotten new art supplies in forever. But if you haven't already, take out something to draw with and draw along with me, unless you'd prefer to do some other activity. Anyways, I got a new pencil sharpener. This one's exactly the same as my old one, it's just, it's, it's gray now, or silver, I don't know. My old one's pretty beaten up, I had to put a ton of tape on it. There's literally two pieces, but you know what, that's a ton. Why the heck am I shaking it? Oof, I just made a mess. Here's the brand if you wanted to know what it was. And this is how it's used. At the store when I went to buy it, my dad was like, how do you use this thing? And I showed it to him, he's like, oh. And this is this little area where you can take out the shavings when you are done. And then next we got, it's sushi. I like sushi, okay? Some of y'all don't like sushi, but, but I like sushi. I realize I introduced it as sushi. It's washi tape, but it just looks like sushi. And now I'm gonna open it. Oh, and I don't know if I sound like I'm talking kind of low. It's really late right now and I don't want to wake up my family, so yeah. Oh. Ah yes, this is childproof. Uh, time to get the scissors! I have no idea why I struggled so much to open this. Like, it shouldn't be this difficult. Why is this packaged so well? Or maybe I'm just stupid. I think I'm just stupid. I just want- Oh, it's right here, Never mind. I just hurt myself, by the way. Yeah, don't play with scissors, kids. Anyways, an eternity later, I finally got it open. I guess those four years of karate weren't for nothing. The power of anger. Oh look! I know this tick comes off, but like, it's cute though. Oh wait! I can just leave it on! I'm just gonna leave it on! Oh wow, you're so smart, buddy. It's like a- it's like a little machine, look. Look, oh wait, you can't see the angle. I think I was really hyper that day. Well, so you have problems! Yeah, I was really hyper. Fun fact! I don't like this in real life. I think this is salmon. This is one of my least favorite uh, fish and sushi. It feels weird to me. Oh, I thought this was rice for a second. I'm like, who? Uh, <laughs> I was about to say something stupid. Who puts rice in sushi? No one. No one puts rice in sushi. Anyways, moving on from sushi, I got Prismacolor uh, pencils. I don't know why I was being so dramatic. I have problems. I got these colored pencils because I thought it would be really cool to use on just like my illustrations uh, for traditional. So I can just put marker down and then overlay some colored pencil. I don't know, I wanted to try something different. And now here's some ASMR. Did I scare any of you? <laughs> I probably shouldn't have dropped the pencils. Ew! This is like a really bad mirror. I'm really blurry and I'm wearing a towel because I just took a shower. I never really properly owned any Prismacolor color pencils. I only have like the Prismacolor erasable ones and those are just for sketching not for actual coloring so this is something new. Ooh, that annoys me. Why are you in this order? Why are you in this order? I'm gonna organize you later. I like these color combinations. Anywho, I also got this kind of like gold um pen, I guess. I have the same pen, it's just in a different color, like just slightly a different gold. I don't know if you would call it a paint pen because it can overlap on like marker and like uh pencils and stuff, so I don't know. And then we got these other pens. I hate this packaging by the way. I hate it. I don't know. I'm gonna open this later. Then I got a singular sharpie because I needed black. And then I just ended up getting another black on accident. So I have two blacks. I didn't- the other black isn't a sharpie though. Oh wait, there's something on the- Okay, haha, <laughs> good. Sorry, I thought I just put through to the other side. You just got to see a sneak peek of one of my sketchbook pages. Don't you feel lucky? And last but definitely not least, we got- Yippee! Markers. Oh my god, it's been forever since I've gotten new markers! I was just excited, okay? I'm not a weirdo, I promise. See what I mean by like two blacks? I just subconsciously got a black. Because. I don't know. I already have like two of these. Like. Do, do these both work? I think I just got black for some reason. Oh no, this one's dead. Jeez, this feels crusty too. Okay, yeah. This is going in the trash pile. What about you? Are you dead? Uh, no, but like. 
like slow, but like you're kind of dying. So then we got the fresh juicy. Why the heck did I say it like that? I'm crying. Croissant. <laughs> I just offended someone who's friendly. Jesus, we're five minutes in the video and I haven't even started drawing anything yet. Girly, stop organizing the markers and start drawing! Perfect. It was pointless, but it's perfect now. Now to test out every color. Because his died out a lot. Frick you! Ah. <sighs> This one's freaking dry. I don't know why this is hilarious to me watching it back, just seeing my disappointment. <laughs> I don't know why. I'll tell my father. Also, I indeed told my father and we got a replacement. I ended up getting a different color though because um, I wanted a brown instead. But I don't think I end up using that color in this video, so whatever. I love you. That is actually Sylvester's hair color. Thank God. Yeah, because the marker that was dry was also his hair color, but this is like super close to his hair color. Um, so I was pretty happy about that because I was planning to draw Sylvester uh, in this uh, video today. I don't know why my, my brain was stopping saying that. Why the heck do I keep throwing things? All right, okay, let's just let's just draw now. This is gonna be fun, man. All right. Huh. I want to draw Sylvester. I need a pose right now. Whoa, god dang, I almost missed my chair when I went to sit. Oh my god, we're finally gonna get drawing, Jesus. I also ended up not using a pose reference because I just didn't. I just did like a quick doodle of like what the vibes I wanted because I kind of just wanted to draw Sylvester. Nothing too um, drastic or like out of my comfort zone. I just wanted to chill today. And yes, I'm aware you can barely see what I'm drawing, but it's okay. It was kind of just for the vibes. I'm gonna be drawing on the right side of the paper anyways. I'm sorry, I'm editing right now, and just the way I swiped, why is it so freaking satisfying? <laughs> I don't know, I just- I don't know. So, I just wanted to draw Sylvester being very... sylvester -y. <laughs> Because I wanted to try to get better at drawing traditionally, and just like, coloring traditionally in general. And I, originally I wasn't gonna film this, but I'm like, hey, you know what, this would be a perfect uh, idea for a video. Not necessarily an idea, just- uh, draw with me, I guess. Because towards the end of every year, I've accidentally started a tradition that I like do a Halloween drawing and a Christmas drawing, like traditionally, to kind of see how I've improved over the year. And I feel like the past couple years now, I've kind of been forgetting, like, how do I draw traditionally again? Because <laughs> I can sketch and doodle, but it's when it's like the illustration part and like the coloring and making it look finished, which is kind of hard for me. Basically, I went through to show that there is actually an improvement this year, because I feel like the past few years, I've kind of been like, yeah, there's an improvement, but it's not really that big and I also kind of like the one from last year so I don't know I just I just want to do good by whose standards you ask by mine yeah and also like it, it's the eighth month already and it's gonna be the ninth like oh gosh it's gonna be 2025 that's cool well I guess depending on who you ask because for me personally I'm kind of excited for next year there's no particular reason I'm just like ooh, a new year but how about you guys are you guys kind of sad that this year is gonna come to an end even though there is still like quite a few months like until the year ends but you know it's closer to ending than it is from beginning that sentence sounded weird and also I have a screenshot of like my YouTube channel on like January the 1st and I had 2.99k and now I'm getting closer and closer to 10k I'm not really sure uh, if I'm gonna do anything because I have ideas, but like it, they're hard, so I don't know. Maybe I won't do anything, but I don't know. Because I don't feel like doing a bunch of drawings like I did recently, because they was hard. And also, I feel like it'd be cool to make a short of like uh, some of you guys, because some of you guys have your own little YouTube channels, and some of y'all are really underrated. Like, Jesus. I don't know. I just want to probably make a short. I don't know when or if, but like just shouting some of you guys out, because I gotta share the love, you know? Can't just keep all of these people to myself. And a lot of you guys are very talented. And also, the video where I draw like you guys' characters, the one I uh, have on my channel. That blew up kind of fast. It is now uh, my most popular video, not short, but video, on my channel, which I'm like, oh, that's cool. So those of you who discovered me through that video, hi. <laughs> 
Oh my god. And also, I still need to make a buddy Sona for you guys. I don't know when I'll do that because my brain is just thinking about the tale of Jesse. Oh my gosh, there's so much you guys don't know. <laughs> and there's so much I still need to figure out. Like, what the heck is Pierre's sister's name? <laughs> I still haven't figured that one out. I have ideas, but I'm just not sure. And I also want to make a short, uh, kind of summing up the tale of Jesse for people who are not sure what is the tale of Jesse. Oh, and if you're wondering that, it's just an original story I made. Oh, and another thing. I love it so much when you guys do fan art for me, and it's just like... <laughs> and I thought it'd be cool if you guys ever do, like, fan art for the Taylor Jesse and, like, post it as a short or a video. You can tag it with, like, the hashtag, uh, the Taylor Jesse. Because I've honestly been doing that with my shorts to kind of organize it, but you guys can also do that as well. And by the way, it's the Taylor Jesse, not Taylor Jesse. Like, making a little fandom, that'd be cool. Anywho, I'm finally getting to the coloring now. We got Sylvester being himself. And speaking of Sylvester, I'm actually working on an animation that's almost done and it's about sylvester <laughs> i just gotta finish the coloring oh, i'm so excited oh and this is kind of random but i've been trying to post a little bit more uh tele jesse stuff that has actually jesse in it because he's the flipping main character he should probably be in more stuff like this because i feel like i keep posting stuff about like sylvester or dead end or something and i'm just like what about the main character jesse so that's what i've been trying to do just making more stuff about him i guess i guess it's because jesse doesn't have a ton of trauma compared to the other characters because all the characters in the story are messed up except jesse and maybe seth because there are things but like is it really trauma if the character didn't even get affected by it and also i've been kind of thinking about the first episode again and i kind of want to change some things that's why in my kind of slightly lore videos i'm like none of this is set in stone and might change because i don't know how i came this far without knowing how to properly write anything because i just come up with scenes for characters i don't sit down in front of like some device and start typing out a full-on story i can't do that well i probably could if i tried but i don't like to i don't like reading or writing <laughs> that's why i don't have that many books but i've been trying to watch more like writing videos and like how to write or something to get better because i'm thinking if i surround myself with that kind of content i'll just learn subconsciously but if you guys have any youtuber recommendations for writing and stuff or just making stories in general please let me know because i can design the characters and make little traits for them and stuff and make small scenes but the actual actual writing I need help with. So yeah, that was just my little ramble about that. Oh, and also don't mind if like my hands look different. Wait, that sounds weird. Like basically I filmed this throughout a span of a couple days and one day I might be wearing nail polish, one day I might be having bracelets on, basically what I'm wearing on my hands. So like just ignore that. Anyways, and another thing, I'm surprised sometimes when people do fan art of like Eddie or like a character other than the characters that are in the Tale of Jesse. Cause I'm just like, you guys remember that? Or like if you're new, then like you go back to watch some of my older videos and not just the new ones and some of you guys even still remember chester i'm like whoa <laughs> because the main ones i've talked about uh on my youtube channel is obviously the tale of jesse and then there's this other story called the pop-ups that uh has eddie zeke and cole in it and then the first story i made up and actually even talked about on my channel was amy's adventure into the unknown which i'm currently kind of remaking that story and also redesigning some of the characters like a lot and then there's this other story that i didn't really talk often about um but i did think a lot about was the story called um the deck and oh man i miss that story like i haven't been thinking about it but some of the characters i'm like oh man I want to go back to that because it's more of like a slice of life kind of story and has no magic or anything like that. It's just normal people, but they live in Las Vegas. <laughs> because the last time I counted, I had 10 stories and now I don't even know how many I have. I haven't, I don't even bother counting anymore. And there's also so many characters that I've kind of forgotten about. Like there's this one character that was kind of about guts or something and you can like see his brain or something. And I totally forgot about him. He didn't even have a name and I drew him recently because I'm like, oh my gosh, he's so cool. Why haven't I drawn him like ever again? Because I was kind of like looking at old pictures of some drawings and like oh my gosh i need to do this and speaking of i feel like my next video should be another sketchbook tour because there are three sketchbooks i haven't shown you guys well there's a ton more but like more recent ones that i finished so that'd be nice and another random thing i think i'm gonna get my hair cut again i think i mentioned that like a while ago in a community post and then nothing <laughs> oh this is really random but i just had an idea i feel like i'm getting really close to 10k subs and i'm trying to think of like something special to do and i just had an idea so you guys seem to like my characters and I was thinking what if we can do a Q&A but like you guys ask my like my characters questions 
and my characters answer them. Because I've already done a Q&A for myself and I don't really want to do another one maybe in the future because it's like you can ask like my Tale of Jesse characters like any question or something. Like, uh, I don't know, uh, Sylvester, what's your favorite drink or something? You know, and you would like ask the question to specific characters. And I was thinking just to keep it simple, it could be only the Tale of Jesse characters, but if you guys want to ask, um, questions to my other characters like Eddie or some other miscellaneous ones I guess you could but I don't know it's if you guys want me to I also might need to draw a lot for that video but I don't need to think about that I don't know because I just feel like it's cool to see other people's characters like how they would answer a specific question but what do you guys think because that's something I've always wanted to do honestly but I just never have and I feel like 10k would be a good excuse to do that but it's only if you guys want me to because I don't really have any other ideas like I do but like I kind of don't want to do them so and Anyways, now jumping topics. This is random, but while I was recording, I was listening to music, and then I was listening to the song I've never heard before, and then realized I heard the like one of the parts of the song before, and I didn't know it was this song, and I got really excited. I feel like it's funny sometimes when you're listening to what you think it's a new song, but you've actually heard it before. Like, I've heard that part, but I never heard the full song, so I just thought it was cool. Anyways, I just wanted to do another little sketch of Sylvester, because I wanted to see if I could just, like, like just color him with the Prismacolor uh, color pencils. But uh, I, I quickly gave up on that. I also realized that in my sketchbook, sometimes I do some doodles or drawings that I just don't like, and I kind of just don't like the page anymore and then i realized that oh wait i can just cover the sketch and draw over it i typically don't like to permanently like put the sticky note down though i like to see what was there because if i permanently do it sometimes i feel like i'm throwing away a drawing in the sense even though technically i'm not but it's like i can't see the drawing anymore because i either glued it down or something like that so i like to still be able to kind of see it because i don't know i i like to keep every single drawing i make or at least as many as i can and also for those of you who just just like throw away your drawings or like throw away your sketchbooks or something like that why why do you do that why do you do that and those people who also scribble on your drawings don't do that that hurts my heart and also it's gonna make you wonder in the future what that drawing was if you scribbled on it just don't do that if you really don't like it just just put a sticky note on it or rip the page out and put it somewhere and don't throw it away because then in the future you can look back and either see that idea and maybe like the idea or just see how far you've come just just don't mess up your art like on purpose like mess up as in like either scribble on it rip it throw it away something just don't do that because your thought process might be oh you hate the drawing so you feel like it shouldn't even exist so then you proceed to scribble on it out of anger or just throw it away because you don't like it but i highly suggest either just leaving it there covering it or maybe just like i said earlier rip it out and put it like in a box or something put all the art that you don't like in a special box if you want and when you're going through art block or just feeling like your art's crappy look through that box and be like oh wow wait i'm actually not that bad to like encourage you and like look back on your like old art that you hated so yeah uh the end that's the end of my story <laughs> anyways editing this video i feel like it's so cool to see like my drawing come from like a sketch to like the finished drawing it really feels like a sculpture that i'm like sculpting or something it's like a sketch you know and then i'm erasing it and like with each erase in which each like new like line it becomes something and i'm like oh that's cool and i was gonna originally just draw sylvester like maybe once but honestly i didn't i, I wasn't totally in love with that drawing in the middle there the fully colored one with sylvester i kind of just wanted him to be quote unquote normal as in just like just looking uh, straight at you because I can I don't know I just wasn't satisfied for that drawing so I decided to do another one. Oh, and when I do another sketch I mean not a sketch or toy draw with me is there a character of mine you would like for me to draw like instead of Sylvester would you like for me to draw dead end Eddie maybe even Chester I don't know I'll take suggestions preferably my own characters though anyways for those of you who are drawing how's the drawing going don't forget to drink water and take breaks I for one took a lot of breaks making this video because sometimes I just run out of things 
things to say, so I just get up and walk around, maybe even wait till the next day and just come back to edit. This is really random, but to those of you who like Jack Stauber's uh, music, the song Cheeseburger Family stuck in my head right now. Anyways, uh, I can't wait to record the sketchbook tour video. Because like I said earlier, I have like quite a few sketchbooks that I haven't recorded yet uh, that uh, I ended up like finishing recently. And it'll also just be cool for me to like look through it as well. Anyways, while I was filming this, my little sister came in the room and kind of just started talking to me while I was drawing and this is kind of the stuff we were talking about. Oh, that's uh, one of my friend's little sister. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then, um, she wanted to watch Elemental. Mm -hmm. She told- There's a random boy that said something really mean, like, like, out loud. And in front of the girls, he said, I hate girls. Mm -hmm. Like, when you make videos, when you're, like, probably my age like why is your voice so high-pitched like hi what do you mean why was i high-pitched i was a little kid because jesse is more like a jesse is not an eddie jesse looks like jesse no jesse looks like a jesse looks like tommy but it's but it... what, what do you mean i made jesse though like before Je jesse is a clown no he's not he's a jester and pomny's a jester too <laughs> Do this and then it goes up Yeehaw! <laughs> and then it, when you go down and make it deep it goes down uh, i don't think you're doing it properly wow well uh i hope you enjoyed those without context i remember my little sister was in another one of my videos a while ago neither of my brothers have been in a video though all i know is i recorded for two hours and half of that hour was just me not even drawing <laughs> i had to cut a lot of that out well like that one recording because i have a bunch of videos like put into this video well, uh, that's not making sense. Anyways, that drawing of Sylvester is basically done now, yay! But I felt like two Sylvesters weren't enough, so I decided to do a third one. I don't know, I felt like there was space to add another one, so I'm like, let's just do it. I also drew Sylvester drinking tea this time, or, well, he's not drinking it, he's holding it. Because that's actually a big part of his character, I just haven't drawn him, like, anything related to tea in a while. Because I remember the first few times that I, like, drew him when I first made him, I drew him, like, holding tea, like, all the time. I don't know, I feel like tea might be, like, a comfort thing for him and also kind of just makes him less crazy he just likes tea and also probably needs tea. oh it's raining right now i don't know if you could hear that hopefully not this is really random but i really like how uh Sylvester's side profile is looking right now even though it's not even done just just look at it another little random thing i also like really like to draw Sylvester's legs it's kind of random but like because of his pants it's kind of like i don't know sticks in a way i don't really know how to explain it it just it feels nice to draw Oh, you know I've been thinking? So some time ago I made kind of like a, I guess a voice claims video for the main characters of the Taylor Jesse. And I remember someone saying that they wanted to see one for Dead End. Well, I think they said Dead End, I don't really remember. And I thought it'd be so cool to do like, oh, uh, I guess voice claims for the other characters. But you see, the thing is, I don't really know what they would sound like. Like even the main characters, like I made a voice claims video, but it's not like I want them to sound exactly like that. It's more of like a vague, like, oh, this is the gist. So I'm not really 100% sure what Dead End would sound like, or I've even really heard that many, like, I guess, audios slash songs that I feel like sound like him. And sometimes what I imagine the character sounds like changes over time. So I'm like, I don't even know anymore. Because recently I found a song that I felt like um, the voice matched Seth, but it was more of a vibe, not like this has to be his voice or something like that, you know? It's more of, hey, that could work. Because there was these two songs that I felt like matched dead end but uh their voice wasn't too deep and i feel like uh the like the ah my thoughts um i feel like you'd assume that dead end would have a deeper voice you know and it's weird because i kind of want it to be like an in-between of like i don't want it to be high pitched but i don't want it to be like too like bass deep either but i don't know i just i still need to figure it out oh look at that my nails changed and i have bracelets on now in the video because i know for sure percy and pierre um have an accent and uh jesse like slightly has an accent just because he lived with like pierre his whole life because like it i feel like it would make sense if pierre had like a french accent but that is definitely not the case because it's like kind of british but like uh, not really i guess i don't know it's more of a what pierre thinks is a quote-unquote more sophisticated way of speaking and for percy i'm not really sure on his accent right now maybe french russian um 
Hispanic. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe even me wanting them to even have accents will change in the future. I don't know. Because I feel like there's so many different voices that could fit the character or characters, just all of them actually. Because I remember when I first like uh posted the short of like their like the main character's quote unquote voice claims, someone was like, huh, I thought like Sylvester would have sound more like Wally or something, like I guess Wally Darling, and I'm like huh <laughs> like looking back i could kind of see it but i just thought that was hilarious because i guess i don't really think of their voices i just think of the tone they would speak in you know like for example my character eddie is very like slow and sometimes takes very long pauses between each word and just speaks like very low in the sense of just deep i guess so i more of just think about it like that you know even with like my i guess used to be persona i don't really know i whenever i draw myself i just draw myself i don't really draw a pink ink it's more of i guess a mascot but like even with her when i imagine her in my head she's more like high pitched and excitable you know because my friend pointed this out just like pink ink and then me in real life are just separate characters at this point or separate people i guess because sometimes i imagine scenes of just like me and pink ink in the same room and just how different we are but yet the same and it's kind of funny and i've even made a few shorts and drawings of just me and pink ink together because originally i made like pink ink when i was 12 because you know that's when i started my channel so yeah i'm probably not the same person as i was when i was 12 and yes uh pink ink has changed slightly over the years but i don't know it's so weird because i refer to pink ink as myself and also the character <laughs> and it's just funny to me because i don't know i would like to be known as pink ink and not my real name like i don't really care if you guys know my real name or not i just would prefer if you used pink ink because sometimes it's weird when someone you don't know personally uses your real name because then it leads me to believe that like i know you in real life i'm like why did you use my real name of course unless like you're uh, referring to how i draw myself or something then that's fine because then like you call me by my real name and i'm like wait but i don't know your real name i don't know it's just a funny little thing wow i really don't know how i've been talking th like this long like i'm not really even talking about anything i'm just rambling about nothing like i'm just talking about random things i don't even have a topic for this video i'm just like yes uh, did you know this and that and this i'm like oh my gosh there has been so many times i ran out of things to say and just had to get up and walk away and come back because yes i've talked like i've made videos that are really long before but i usually had something specific i wanted to say but i uh, know anyways i think i've said this before but i uh recently got toon squid which is basically just like an animation app thing and i wanted to try to use that because um dreams <laughs> procreate dreams isn't horrible but there's a ton of better things out there i just feel like the people released it too early like bro it doesn't even have a lasso tool what do you mean the least you could have done was release it with a lasso tool it seems more of just like uh i was gonna say after effects but i've never used that kind of you use a different program to draw it and you kind of just edit it it's, it seems like more of an editing thing than anything like Less uh, hand-drawn animation, more of just rigging, I guess. Which, I guess, for the most part, that's fine if it's just for rigging. Oh, and for those of you who are not sure what I mean by rigging is... It's basically just making the character kind of like a puppet, so you don't have to, like, draw each frame individually. Anyways, at first, I really didn't like it, and then I started getting the hang of it, and actually, it was like, oh, wait, I kind of know what's, what I'm doing now. And then, <laughs> well, I was almost done, it deleted my whole project forever gone nothing good thing i saved an earlier version so i had it in my tablet if i didn't do that it would have been gone gone all of that gone so that permanently scarred me it was probably my bad that i didn't make saves but like i don't even know what i did to make it go like just gone and i didn't even mean to save it for like safety reasons or like oh maybe this will get corrupted or something i just saved it to send it to my friend because all i did was pressing undo and then it just undid everything and i could not redo it it just all went gone i don't think it should do that i don't think i should be afraid to press the undo button now so now i'm afraid just to make anything in procreate dreams so i just decided to get toon squid because it seems like it's good um, but now I have to relearn a whole new thing, and that's gonna take forever. I do think one day I will return to Procreate Dreams, though. I just think it needs more updates and needs to be fixed, so hopefully it'll be really good one day. All I want to do is make cute little animation memes of the character, like, bobbing up and down, but I can't do that because I need either Procreate Dreams or Toon Squid or something, and I don't know how to work Toon Squid yet. And I know you could probably use this thing called, like, light motion, I think it was, but I don't like the watermark, you know? 
and I'm assuming you can pay so you don't have the watermark, but I'm not doing that. Anyways, look at that. I'm almost done with the sketchbook page. This took me forever to film and forever to edit. Probably because I took a ton of breaks, but whatever. Now I'm kind of just jazzing up like the page. Add in a bunch of stickers and just more doodles because I can. It makes the page look edible, you know? Don't eat paper, kids. It's not good for you. I bet some of y'all out there legitimately have eaten paper before, but whatever. I think my brother has done that before. And I also think he's eaten erasers before, too. He's special. Special. I'm just kidding. I love you, man. I feel like it's funny in the beginning of the video when I was like recording I was very hyper, I guess um, not voiceover, but like while I was recording, but now in the recording I'm very just eh About things not I'm not unhappy. I'm just more of chill nonchalant, you know So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video though I hope you got to do something productive while hearing me ramble and let me know what you were doing uh, While watching this video if you were drawing what were you drawing? I remember this one person said they were making a cake You know who you are that cake you made looked very edible by the way if you served it to me I'd eat it anyways the sketchbook page is finally done I'm glad you watched this far into the video and I have no idea how I talked for this long anyways But that's all for me. I'm gonna go pass out now. Bye I'm so tired right now. I feel like I've talked so much in the video, I have nothing else to say. At least no more random things to say. Just buddies, take care of yourself, okay? If you're watching this at night, go to bed. You know you, you should, okay? But if it's morning for you, then hi. <laughs>